Today is December the 2nd and we have two new items in Halo Infinite store. So in today's video I'm going to be taking a quick look at these items and determine whether or not I believe they're worth the money. So how's it going Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon and let's jump straight in. So the two items on the daily shop today are the Looking Sharp bundle and the Neptune's Depth bundle. The Looking Sharp one isn't entirely new, we have seen it before, it costs a thousand credits and contains six items. However, technically it only contains three. In this bundle, you get the epic chest piece, which is the knife on your chest. You also get the rare utility piece, which is the knife on your utility. And then you also get an epic nameplate, which is the stainless nameplate, which is the, the knife one. But you then get that emblem for your vehicles, your armor, and your weapon. Which is why I say, although it's six items, it's technically only three, because the nameplate is then an emblem which you get for every item. Now these knife pieces are really cool, however this bundle costs a thousand credits which again is the same price as the battle pass and I 100% do not think this is worth the value. As cool as these are, they're something that is probably not even going to be noticeable in game. Maybe the emblems would be and your nameplate's going to be visible in the menu and sure these items will look cool on your character however these items that are quite small and they're just not going to be noticed. Now, if you like them, of course, that's your decision and you can spend your money on it. However, I do not think there is enough here to make up for that 1,000 credit price tag. Had the knives maybe been available for every core, fair enough. Or if you got some like different variations for the other cores, then I would see that as being fine. But this much for such a little amount of content here, uh, I, I don't think it's worth 1,000 credits. Once again, I do think the items are cool, and if you want to spend your money on them, that's completely fine. That's your choice. However, the point of these videos is to determine my opinions on them and determine whether or not I think you should be spending your money on these items. Now, the second bundle, this one is completely brand new, is the Neptune's Depths bundle. This contains three items, including an armor coating, a legendary weapon coating for the Bulldog, and also a stance where you're holding the Bulldog. The coating is called Neptune's Depths, and it's a really nice blue sea foamy colour for the Bulldog. It's actually a really nice coating, I do really like this. Then you also have the Cloven Sea Foam coating for your Spartan, and again, this is also a really nice armour coating. It's like a cyan colour with a bit, of wet, a bit of white, a bit of red, a bit of orange. It's a nice colour, it sort of like has that ocean theming going on, and I quite like it. And you also get the Room Sweeper Stance, which is a nice stance where you're holding out the Bulldog. These items are great, however, this bundle costs 700 credits, which I think is a bit much. I think had the Neptune's Depths coating been available for every weapon and not just the Bulldog, then 700 credits would be fine. This isn't a super expensive bundle. However, the fact that you only get this coating for one weapon seems a bit cheap. Not cheap as in the bundle's cheap, of course, as in I think it's really stupid that you only get this coating for a single weapon. So I don't really think this one is completely worth it. Again, had the weapon coating been available for every weapon, then I'd 100% say go for it. I think this weapon coating and the armor coating and the stance are all really cool, but the fact that you're limited to only having this coating for one weapon and this armor coating is only usable on one core, it's just a bit much. Had the armor coating been available for all three armor cores, then that would be fine. And had the weapon coating been available for every weapon, then yeah, I'd understand it. But this seems a bit much, considering you're not really getting that much in the bundle. I won't be talking about the Anubis armor set and the Splinter Desert set today, as I did cover them in my first video covering the store of the week. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description, or I'll put like one of those little link cards up on your screen right now. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to say about those items today, folks. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. I'll be covering the store as often as I can. But until then, I'll catch you in the next one.